Hey, it's Michelle Schaefer from michelleschaefer.com and I was working on a blog post and thought it would be the perfect time to show you a few formatting tips and tricks for your images. As you can see, I've kinda got my blog post here and I want to insert an image. So I'm gonna start. I've already uploaded my image. I'm going to go to gallery where my image is. And this is the file that I want to insert. I don't want it to link to anything, so I'm going to click None right here. This is Left Align and Full Size. I'm going to hit Insert into Post. Okay, so I've got my image there. As you can see, it's kind of big, and the text is running right into it, which really bugs me. So here's how to fix that. Click on your image, and click this little image there. Go to Advanced Settings this is what you want to look for image properties you can set a border vertical space or horizontal space vertical space is how much padding is around the image on the top and bottom horizontal space is how much padding is on the left and right so I'm gonna put in here five go down and click update and now you can see there's a little bit of padding there a little bit of space I don't think that's quite enough so I'm gonna go back in go back to advanced settings and change it to 10 and hit update again and now you can see there's a little more space around it so that's a nice kind of buffer zone so my text is easy to read here's some other things you can do from in this advanced tab and edit image tab my image is kinda of big if I want to change the size just change it to a different percentage over here and click then hit update now it shrunk my image and we still have the nice padding around it if you want to move your image from the left to the right you can go in and change the alignment. So here I just hit right and then hit update. Now my image is right there. If you want to link your image to something, you would put the link URL right here. You can also link it to the image if you have the image smaller and you want the full size one to be available if people click on the image, just click link to image. You can also put in an image caption. In this case I want to credit the person who took this photo. This is the person the photo came from, which is a morgue file photo. So here I'm going to put photo credit and a link to the person's profile so other people know who created that photo. As you can see, then it shows up. And I want my image on the left, so I'm going to go back in, just click left. Okay, so it's easy to move from left to right. This particular layout where the caption shows up below the photo, there's kind of a a border around it, that's part of my blog theme. Okay, so depending on your blog theme, your your caption may show up differently, but that's how to put a caption in there is with that caption field in the image editing tab. Now I'm going to preview the post and we can see what this looks like. There it is. So I've got my image over here, a nice small size. It's got some space around it so it's not right up against my text and the photo credit is right there for the person who shot that lovely photo of a cup of coffee. So I hope this is helpful to you if you are trying to figure out how to get your images to do what you want them to in WordPress. This has been Michelle Schaefer from michelleschaefer.com.